a solar thermal power plant at an ashram in India. Protecting cloud forests in Rwanda. Efficient heaters for villages in Kyrgyzstan. Three projects that have one thing in common. They're supported by Germany's International Climate Initiative. Climate protection is one of the greatest challenges that I face, along with my colleagues from all over the world. As industrialized nations, we've promised to provide $100 billion annually, every year, from 2020 onwards, to help countries in the South cope with the challenges. That's an important measure for building trust. If we don't live up to that pledge, if we didn't present it at the climate conference in Paris, then countries in the South will have every right to doubt that they can rely on us. Since 2008, the German International Climate Initiative has funded 490 projects. It's spent a total of 1.4 billion euros. The initiative supports renewable energies, in Chile, for example. Test campaigns there have shown that the country has huge potential when it comes to wind energy. So the initiative is working to help set up several facilities, among them the El Totoral wind farm. I think that today it would be stupid not to use modern technology to produce clean energy and to protect the environment. Protecting the climate also means protecting our forests. Woodlands are important carbon sinks, and deforestation remains a big threat in many areas. Rainforests in the Congo Basin are being measured from the air with the help of high-tech tools, while on the ground, scientists are measuring and counting individual trees and bushes. That data allows them to create highly detailed maps. The goal? Sustainable forestry management. Germany's International Climate Initiative is also promoting change in the transport sector with Nationally Appropriate Mitigation Actions, or NAMAs. In Colombia, for example, it's cleaning up the shipping business by offering a scrapping bonus on old trucks. And in the capital, Bogota, Transmilenio buses are a cleaner alternative in public transportation. We use only special diesel fuel with European emission standards. That's improved the air quality considerably. Because of Transmilenio, the number of vehicles on the streets declined, and so has pollution. And the German International Climate Initiative is fostering adaptation measures in places where climate change is already having an impact. Especially the countries that will be hardest hit by ongoing climate change, where there will be droughts and floods, for example, those countries need our help and support. With its long coastlines, Costa Rica is already seeing climate-induced changes. Protected areas like mangrove forests are under threat. The goal here? to create a system of natural reserves based on concepts worked out in Marino Ballina National Park. Here, fishermen were retrained as tour guides. Today, they live from the park that they once viewed as a threat to their way of life. We now see nature here in a whole new way. Conflicts due to climate change also threaten Kiribati. Rising sea levels are forcing more and more people to flee to the Pacific nation's largest island. Social tension is growing. Do you want to ignore your environment? No! 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 Workshops sponsored by Germany's International Climate Initiative provide information on what's happening and explain how to save energy and cut down on waste. I learned a lot about climate change at the workshops. And part of the solution is to pass that knowledge along, especially to the children.
490 projects, one goal. The common goal in our work with all of our partner countries is the two-degree limit, to avoid at all costs a rise in temperature of more than two degrees by the end of the century.